here we go in second gear. Hi, I'm Doug from Honda. Let's take a look at VSA. But as you can see, the VSA can only do so much. As we accelerate and the front wheel starts spinning, in this case the front wheel is going 10 mile an hour faster than the rear wheels, the computer closes the throttle plate, opens it again, closes it and opens it again, causing the boost to oscillate, losing by as much as 10 to 15 psi of boost. But now we have a solution on data software traction control. Go to calibration, traction control, enable traction control. These settings have been tested in a wide variety of different conditions. They work really, really well. But depending on tire choice, you can adjust your ignition retard value for the reduction in power. And depending on tire choice again for the drag strip, you'll need to adjust your launch slip value. Having done all of these, just go to the upload button and install. So what does the data tell us? Well the results are absolutely stunning. The throttle stays at 100% all the way through the run, the boost stays exactly where it's programmed to be, and the wheel slip is around 6% which is exactly what we need for maximum acceleration. So the Honda software traction control makes you faster, more consistent, and extends the life of your tires. And the best part of it is that it's free with the next update. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned.